In the epic Mahabharata, this story between Karna, the tragic hero, and Krishna, the divine strategist, reveals deep insights into their struggles, choices, and the path of righteousness. This is the story between Karna, who is always considered a great warrior, a philanthropist, and a highly knowledgeable person and Lord Sri Krishna himself, where Karna wants to know why I face such a life. The story starts with Karna, weighed down by the burden of his numerous hardships, approached Krishna with a heart full of questions and anguish. Why do I always face so much misery and misfortune? fortune, Karna began, his voice heavy with the sorrow of his life's story. My life has been a series of struggles despite my efforts to live with honor and loyalty. I was abandoned at birth by my mother Kunti, and raised by Adiratha and Radha, who despite their love could not give me the status I deserved. I sought to prove myself as a warrior, but when I approached Dronacharya, he refused to teach me because of my low birth. Karna paused, his eyes reflecting the pain of past humiliations. When I finally found a teacher in Parashurama, I was cursed because I was not truthful about my origins. Even Mother Earth cursed me because I unknowingly insulted her. Everywhere I turn, I am met with curses and humiliation. I have faced constant ridicule from the Pandavas and others who scorn me for my perceived lowly birth. Duryodhana was the only one who accepted me and gave me respect and a kingdom. My loyalty to him has been unwavering, yet I am constantly reminded of my so-called inferior status. Why is my loyalty to Duryodhana seen as a flaw when he was the only one who stood by me, when everyone else rejected me? What have I done wrong to deserve this? Krishna listened intently to Karna's grievances, his expression one of deep understanding and empathy. Your life has indeed been filled with challenges and hardships, much like mine, Krishna began softly. I too have faced numerous trials and tribulations. I was born in a prison and immediately separated from my parents. My life was under constant threat from Kamsa, who sent many demons to kill me. To protect my people, I had to leave my home in Mathura and establish a new city, Dwarka, running like a coward in the eyes of some. Krishna's voice grew more somber as he continued. I had to fight many battles, not just with weapons but with moral dilemmas. I had to stand against my own relatives and the army of the Yadavas to uphold Dharma. I have made difficult choices, often misunderstood and judged by others. The life of upholding righteousness is fraught with challenges and pain, but it is the path we must walk. Karna, though moved by Krishna's words, still sought clarity. If our struggles are so similar, then tell me what have I done wrong? Why do my actions lead me to so much suffering while you are revered and respected? Krishna's gaze softened as he addressed Karna's poignant question. Your struggles are indeed great, and your bravery is unquestionable, but the difference lies in the choices we made and whom we chose to support. Your loyalty to Duryodhana, while commendable, has tied you to a path of adharma. Duryodhana's cause is unjust, driven by greed and envy. True loyalty should guide a friend towards righteousness, not support their wrongful actions. Krishna's words were like a balm to Karna's troubled soul, yet they also brought a painful truth to light. By standing with Duryodhana, you have been complicit in many acts of adharma. You supported him in the deceitful game of dice that led led to the disrobing of Draupadi, an act that was against all principles of dharma and honor. You have been involved in numerous deceitful plans to harm the Pandavas, who are your own brothers by blood. These actions, Karna, are where you strayed from the path of righteousness. Krishna paused, allowing Karna to absorb the weight of his words. Your loyalty and desire for recognition led you to make choices that aligned with Adharma. A good friend shows the right path, even if it is difficult. Reflect on these actions, and you will understand why your life has been filled with suffering. As as Krishna's words settled in, Karna felt a profound sense of realization dawning upon him. His life, though marked by misfortune and curses, had also been a series of choices that led him down a path of adharma. The loyalty he had prided himself on had, in fact, been misplaced. Duryodhana, despite his kindness, had led him away from the path of righteousness. Karna's mind raced through his past actions, the moments where he could have chosen differently, the deceitful game of dice, the humiliation of Draupadi, the numerous battles fought against his own brothers, each event now stood out starkly as a deviation from Dharma. The weight of his realizations was heavy, yet it brought a strange sense of clarity and peace. This story shows us that life is always unfair for everyone, and it's a person's duty to stay on the right and moral path for internal peace and a satisfactory life. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and comment with your thoughts. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the right circle, and if you want to explore more, check the left video.